So hi everyone, this is Co-Staycation. I am furloughed from work and have been working in my yard. Did a lot of uh, picking all my oranges to give to neighbors and the homeless shelter and now the rest goes to the food bank because I don't want the rats finishing them off. I'd rather have people finishing them off. And my kumquat tree, my daffodils been working on. I transplanted a couple of trees that were volunteers in my yard, an apple and a peach, and we'll see how that goes. And a barberry bush that I has been working on. Let me see, I planted my lemon tree and a rose bush in the way here. Let me see. Yes, I'm constantly feeding the birds and watching the antics of the squirrel trying to get to the bird seed. And I put in a lime tree and an avocado tree in my yard. And I transplanted some celery and my pomegranate is growing. My rose bushes are looking lovely and pretty soon we'll be showing some roses. And let me see what else I've been working on. Uh, yeah, another bird feeder there. And it looks like the squirrels tried to uh, get that baffle and get up over it, but it couldn't. All right, here's my veggie patch and uh, my hops. Let me see, and my orchard. I've been doing some trimming of fire blight so my tree won't die. And let me see what else. Uh, yeah, doing some composting in the yard. Had lost six trees last summer due to my new lovely Ratio app that overwatered everything and they drowned it. Yeah, my water fountain needs cleaning, understandably. Always work to do. And my hummingbird feeders there. I'm also trying to espalier a little apple tree that I found in the yard so gonna do some practicing on espaliering my apple tree oh that was a multi-pair apple tree and did some planting of some flowers which I found for 50 cents on the dead uh, rack uh, yep I tend to hit the dead rack and revive some of my plants. And let me see, there's a bimakut or kaffir lime. Ah, uh, yeah, I was drying out a baggie to reuse. Let me see, yes, there's some carrots growing and some Italian parsley that's starting to go to seed, possibly. And let's go down my pathway here to the berry patch. Oh, this year I am going to have some lovely plums. The first year of multiple plums. I see a lot of them this year. At least the rains came at a time where I was able to get bees and pollinate it before they all fell like I have in the last few years. Let me see. On this side I have some blueberries and yes, some roses again. Oh, let's take a peek into the house. I have been working on a quilt, if you can see that at all, for my nephew, for my four-year-old nephew. It's a little soccer quilt I'm quilting. Uh, what else have I been doing? A new cherry tree planted, a couple uh, peach trees that I've planted. Oh yes, I've got a whole bunch of beets that I had to transplant because when I put the seeds down they were all packed together so I kind of spread them out and yes onions and garlic hoping to keep the bugs away and yes this is my last dead tree it is not come back I was sure hoping my cherry tree would come back but it didn't oh what is this down here yes I transplanted more beets and I have put in some uh, spinach. And this is my uh, boysenberry patch, a long patch. Come help me pick in June. Let me see what else is going on. Oh, yes. Down this alley here, 
continues my berry patch. And on the side, I have some sweet peas starting to come up. I'm protecting it from the bugs and rats eating the young plants, but finally they're going to grow. I have added some long green beans or type green beans, but I don't see them coming up yet. And as I keep coming down this alley, I have some blueberries, which the rain has dug out a trench and I need to add some potting milk mix into the dirt because now some of the roots are exposed. Uh, yeah, more blueberries. Yes, that guard is for the rabbits that keep coming in and chewing my blueberries down. And guess what? I have planted this apple tree for 13 years now, and this is the first year I've gotten blossoms. I am sure hoping that this apple tree that I got from Sebastopol and brought down to LA is going to give me some special apples. It was from a farm in Sebastopol. It was our patient who gave us the seeds to this apple tree that had a huge apple from back east somewhere in their front yard. And it was an awesome apple and they don't know what kind it was, but I'm hoping to get some apples this year from it. And yes, my hostas are starting to come up. That is down in this area with a few of my bulbs coming up. Let me turn back around and look back east. Yes, this is this is my boysenberry patch. And let me see if we go straight. Yeah, that's chicken manure. I am going out. Yes, I have some peppermint, hoping to keep bugs down again. And uh, more celery. Yes, those go like crazy. Every now and then I chop them down and juice them for celery juice. And as I come through the garden here, there is some rhubarb and more onions and potatoes. Yes, I have potatoes growing and there's another small apple tree just starting to put out its bloom apricots i do hope to get some apricots this year i really trimmed this tree back a lot this fall and i have my bonsai maple tree that i had from santa rosa and they are surviving well so far also a few coffee plants from uh, when Ray was roasting coffee and I had some green beans and they started to grow, so I just thought I'd put them in some pots and see, you know, this is all my experimental garden. And that is raspberries. And I think I told you there was rhubarb, correct? I have rhubarb here growing. And guess what? Somebody gave me some sticks of grapes and I put them in the ground and they are starting to grow. And, of course, there's more strawberries and sage and a bonsai apple and a lot of mint. Anybody want mint? I have a lot of mint. Thyme and rosemary and chives. Let me see. I was reading also that you could grow potatoes in buckets. So this year I'm trying to grow potatoes in buckets. Oh, what happened to this bed? And in the background there you see lemongrass. What happened to this bed? This is from the other visual of my uh, little garden veggie box area. The fig trees roots were all in this veggie box. So I had to dig it all out and put plastic on the bottom. And now I have little pots growing in it, hoping that the dirt will have enough dirt so that my plants can survive versus feeding this fig tree. And yes, more roses along the fence. All along the fence are roses. Then this is a veggie box so far. Potatoes are growing and some rhubarb is growing and I'm waiting for the weather to be a little bit warmer to put in some peppers. Hot peppers, bell peppers, and I try to put some 
basil in, but I think it was too early. It's, bugs are eating it and uh, the frost or it got a little cold and it's a little burnt, but hopefully this little strawberry container is like a greenhouse over it. And more carrots and parsnips. Let me see, I just planted some uh, peas and some cucumbers. So we're waiting for those to come up yet. And yes, I do have some, uh, oh, that's my mask that I was putting in the sunshine because of the coronavirus. I was having the UV um, kill whatever was there I had. Now, uh, yes, there's some apple tree again, and another apple tree, Fuji's, and pears, and let me see, that has been keeping me busy, and this poor little uh, pear tree, I am hoping to survive, but we'll see. It had so much fire blight on it, I had to cut it back. So, yes, that has been what has been keeping me most busy here in uh, Valencia. I have been sneaking off and doing unicycling every day or running. But goodbye for now from Kat's house. Love you all. Come visit when this is all over. Get some fruit. Love you. Bye.